Hello guys, this is Amos Dong Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Dong Lam Trai Tim An Dao, song by Sun Tung MTP. Okay, sorry if I pronounced it incorrectly, but anyways, very, very beautiful and catchy tune. I'll be teaching you how to play the instrumentals, so once you learn it, you can pretty much play and sing this song for yourself. Very beautiful, it goes like this, give you a preview before we start learning it, it goes like this. All right, beautiful tune, okay? Let's break it up to a few parts. It's easy to learn, so uh, here we go. The first part, Ryan starts on the G sharp here. So middle C's here, it's just G sharp up here. So let's start. So starting on the G sharp, B, C sharp, B, F sharp, C sharp. That's it for the first part. We'll break up to four parts. It's easy to learn. Let's learn it again. So G sharp, B, C sharp, B, down to F sharp, up to C sharp. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have two chords. We have E major, which is E, G sharp, B. Second chord is D sharp minor, which is D sharp, F sharp, A sharp. Okay, so with those two chords in mind, so E major and D sharp minor, two hands together goes like this, G sharp and E major together. F sharp and D sharp minor together. Like that. That's it, let's learn it once again. So together, together. Moving on to the second part, Ryan continues, goes D sharp, C sharp, B, G sharp, B, C sharp, B, A sharp, B, A sharp, B. That's it for the right hand for the second part. So a little bit more notes for the second part. Let's learn it once again. So it goes D sharp, C sharp, B, G sharp, B, C sharp, B, A sharp, B, A sharp, B. That's it for the right hand. That's then we have three chords. We have C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, G sharp. And the second chord is F sharp major, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, fully black note chord. And then the third chord is B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. So with these three chords in mind, so C sharp minor, F sharp major, and B major, the two ends together goes like this. So right hand starts, G sharp and C sharp minor together, after B, F sharp major by itself, right continues, A sharp and B major together, like that. All right, let's learn it once again. So it goes, together, here, together. That's it. So back to back, the two parts of learned so far in this lesson will be played like this. That's it, awesome. Now moving on to the third part, Ryan continues, goes G sharp, B, C sharp, B, F sharp, C sharp, C natural. All right, that's it for the third part. Let's learn it once again. So it goes G sharp, B, C sharp, B, F sharp, up to C sharp, C natural. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have three chords. We have E major, which is E, G sharp, B. Second chord is D sharp minor, which is D sharp, F sharp, A sharp. And then third chord, G sharp major, which is G sharp, C, D sharp. So with these three chords in mind, so E major, D sharp minor and then G sharp major. The turns together goes like this. So G sharp and E major together. F sharp and D sharp minor together. C and G sharp major together. That's it. Let's learn it once again. So together. 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 That's it. So back to back, the three parts of learned so far will be played like this. Moving on to the fourth and last part, Ryan goes four notes, G sharp, B, C sharp, B. That's it for the right hand. All right, let's learn it again. So G sharp, B, C sharp, B. All right, left hand, we have two, uh, three chords. We have C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, G sharp. And then second chord, F sharp major, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, fully black note chord. And the third chord is B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. So with these three chords in mind, so C sharp minor, F sharp major, and B major, the two ends together goes like this, G sharp and C sharp minor together. After that, B, F sharp major by itself, Ryan continues, and then B and B major together. That's it. Let's learn it again. So together, here, together. That's it. So back to back, all four parts of this lesson will be played like this. Beautiful. All right, so once you can repeat it consistently correct a few times, then you play it back to back. 
you can start to add your own improvisations to make your own version. All right, left hand you do octave bass arpeggios, rhythmic patterns. That kind of thing. Right hand can harmonize on the chords to make a thicker in texture to play around. Beautiful tune, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this lesson, by the way. If you want to learn other beautiful tunes like this, search up your favorite song name, followed by Amos Doll in the YouTube search to find your favorite song to learn on my channel. As for now, if you want to learn more piano from me, if you like my teaching method and style, how I break everything up step by step, part by part, you can check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description to check out all my piano courses, books, services, which include my song request service where you can request any song for me to make into a cover or lesson of your choice so make sure to check that out as for now enjoy your time around my channel make sure to check out all the links in my bio and as for now see you all next time